On December 6, 2015, Steve Sklar announced that he would run for the White House for the Project American Just Amateur Magnificence Again party, the Pajama Party. Almost immediately, the Essex Ethical Culture Society in Maplewood, New Jersey, invited him to give a campaign speech on January 17, 2016. This is an excerpt from that speech. And to get back to stupid, if I could, because that's, that's an important thing here. I mean, the other thing about Trump, another, you know, constant, a, a mantra, the way he lives his life, the principle of his existence is this whole idea of winners versus losers, okay? Winners being Trump and losers being everybody else. Okay. So, I mean, I'd like to take a moment here. Let's, let's, let's play a little game, a little moment of what he is participation. Uh, I, I call it the winners and losers a la Trump game. So let's, I'll start it off, I'll give you some examples. Uh, you know, let's consider like the greatest figures in human history and, and let's ask ourselves, but from Donald's perspective, whether they could possibly be winners or losers. I mean, you kind of can see that this is dumb, but I mean, Mozart, okay, winner or loser? Loser, because he died young and he died broke. Okay. Um, Gandhi. Okay, Gandhi. Gandhi. No, what do we do? Gandhi. Loser. He was assassinated. Assassinated. What? Did he not have bodyguards? Did, were they incompetent? You know, so he's a loser. Um, how about Napoleon? Napoleon Bonaparte? He's a loser. Exiled. He's exiled. Forget about the victories. You know, so the. So, all right, anybody, you know, think of a figure and then we'll, we'll analyze whether they could possibly be a, a winner. No, but Jesus. Jesus? That's yeah. good. Jesus is good. Okay. Um, <laughs> things didn't go well for him. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, the, the, the Donald, I, the Donald, okay, I'm going to be Donald now. No, okay. I'll keep it in the third person. It's safer. Um, the Donald actually about the Jesus and Christianity. You know, early on he was kind of speaking to a group of sort of evangelical types, and he he said, I you know I get the whole the whole Christian thing. I have the wafer. You know, I go I do the little wafer thing, and they're like, I don't know. You know, Mary, he doesn't really sound churchy. You know, I just I'm getting a vibe here. So, true, true, okay. So that was good, Jesus was good, but he, you know. I mean, the Son of God, I mean, Trump has to like that, but, you know, like you and me. Um, Churchill. Churchill? Um, you know, he let himself go. <laughs> and, 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 and the cigars, I, you know, and, and the hat, you know, it's kind of, who wears a hat like that? You know what I'm saying? You know, he was good with the language, though. I'll give him that. You know, he, he was he was for a loser. He did he did okay. He had you know he had a, a little run there. You know, who? FDR. FDR. I mean, the guy's in a wheelchair. I mean, how are you gonna you know? You know, I wouldn't. I mean, if you know, Trump is a germaphobe. He wouldn't have gotten polio. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's. I know it sounds harsh, but you know, you gotta grow up. Okay. <laughs> Who? Lincoln? Yeah. Uh, C. Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I have already answered that question, sir. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. Um, I mean. If you really think about it, the parade is is all about St. Patty's Day, okay? <laughs> Columbus, it's a second-rate parade. It's a loser parade. No, he got lost. He didn't know where it was. Yeah, have you been to, like, ever a Columbus Day parade? Have you? No. 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 This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> they, don't, they don't serve the green beer for Columbus. Okay? When, honey? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, good. I think we get the point.